Buyer motivation always, is always based on two things. Avoiding pain and getting pleasure. In the case of getting pleasure, maybe that somebody wants to feel more successful. So they go out and they buy a prestige watch like a Rolex or Cartier, or perhaps a Mercedes or a Cadillac. They're there trying to impress people and maybe look more successful perhaps, or they, want, they themselves just want to feel better about themselves by driving that car. That would be on the, on the one side. On the other side, perhaps what the issue is, they're trying to avoid pain. So maybe they're trying to get thinner or they're trying to better organize their day. So they buy a new software or something that helps them organize their time or something of this nature. So people are always chasing after pain or pleasure. Now that is the primaries of the, of the motivation. People's buying habits so typically aren't, 15% of people buy based on past experience, but people, 85% of the time, people are buying based on the anticipation of what they expect the outcome of buying your product or service will be, the result that they will receive, and the benefits they will receive, whether they'll be more confident, thinner, more beautiful, whatever the case might be.